All right, let's go ahead and get into the transport and the mixer section up here. A couple of different ways that you can add tracks. You can click and drag them. And that will load this track into player number one. You can also right click, highlight the player and right click, select load into player two. And you can also highlight and putting it to the top of the screen, it will load that song. So a couple of different ways you can get songs inside each player of decks. Hovering your mouse over the transport control. Clicking on play to play the song. And turn the volume down. Let's go ahead and get to the mixer section right away. We'll show you. That's your volume for that track. You have your gain structure here. You have your pan for left and right. Your EQ settings. High. Headphone cue select. It's right here. Of course, you still do need a multi channel sound card if you do want to use the cue function inside of decks. And cueing the player is as simple as doing that and adjusting your headphone volume. Skipping around the song is really simple. Click anywhere in the waveform display, and decks will jump to that part. To change the way that the waveform is shown to you. On the wave. Crossfader section is right here. You can also change the uh, to show, hide the fader. However, your EQ kills will still be available. And in this miscellaneous function here, we can set VSTs. Your master output. You can also set your crossfader speed, crossfader curve, and all kinds of extras. Set your uh, your frequencies for your EQ, and you can also turn on a master split view. Okay, I'll show you how to change your automatic cue point. Simple. First of all, you have to be in play pause mode. And you can move it wherever you want, hit cue point, and it will change. Going down the cue will give you a stutter. And since we're talking about cues, let's go ahead to the hot cue section, which is these four buttons right here. Setting a hot cue is real simple. You want to right click anywhere. Click now, it'll set that cue point. Left click select will jump back to that point for you. Set another one here. And left clicking will start it from the hot cue. Of course, you can jump around to whichever one that you want. Pitch range is over on this side. Selecting your pitch range, go from an 8% pitch. And we also have the master tempos for you right here, which will allow you to change the tempo but not the pitch. Let's go ahead and jump over to this section. These um, two sides are multi-panes. Click on effects and you can either show your loops, your effects, your keyboard, or your third deck. Let's go ahead and open up the loop section. Here we can set a loop by a certain amount of bars. As you can see
see, it'll show you where the loop section is starting. You can half that, go to a 4, go to a 2, go to a 1, and a half. And getting out of it is simple by pushing that button. You can also move the loop. You can add beats, take them off, do all kinds of cool things. Okay, we're going to go to our effects section next. Here you have various filter sweeps that you can page through. A straight filter. Your second one is a filter sweep, or just holding the button will give you that sweep. Pressing it again will get you out of it. straight filter. Down here you have your echo section. Three different types of echoes where you can actually select one that you'd like. These buttons are for time code support. This button is for recording your mix. Um, Dex does ship out of the box as long as your sound card does have inputs where you can um, use the PC DJ time code. Um, it does support reflex, scratch, the CD or the vinyl. And Dex does also support torque, virtual DJ time code, Serato scratch live, and final scratch. One more button here is the brake section. Here you can start your brake. You can also set it to a startup effect. Hit it again. Kind of like the uh, power button on A1200. And that's a quick tutorial on decks and some of its cool features.